Hello students, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are fine. And now once again see here, the remaining part of the LAQ, I mean you know, which are can be consistent already, I told you in part 1, that is the key of first law and key of second law. Now I am going to teach you the remaining part of third LAQ, that is the Western Bridge in part 2, this one. Okay, and now see here sir, let us first of all, why we are in here Western Bridge, sir means, and Western Bridge is an electric circuit which can compare the resistance of the Western Bridge. Okay, which can compare the resistance of the bridge and which is used to find unknown resistance of this western bridge. Okay, so let us consider we are taking here four types of resistances. One is the R1 and another one is the R2, R3 and R4. Okay, four types of resistances we are taking here. And these four types of resistances are can be referred as the arms of the bridge. Okay, and now see here, it can be consistent here four types of bridges. One is the A, B, C, D, four types of junctions. Okay, it can be consistent here four types of junctions. One is the A, B, C and D, four types of junctions. And now see here, the battery, the battery of EMF E which is connected between the two junctions that is A and C. And now see here, from this battery the electric current can be passing through here. Okay, the electric current can be passing through from this battery. The current it can be divided here two parts. I1 current can be passing through the direction of okay, R1 uh, along the through R resistance R1. The I2 current can be passing here along the through resistance that is R2. And now see here when the current can, when the current can be meeting at a junction B, at this point the current can be divided here C. Again, I3 current can be passing through the resistance R3. And IG current, that is galvanometer current IG, which is passing to the galvanometer. Where we are taking say here galvanometer surveys, the galvanometer we are taking between the two junctions, that is a B and D. Okay? And now see here, then when it can become mean and a junction D, at this point, the current I4 can be passing through the resistance R4. The total current can be meeting at point C, again can be passing here this current towards the battery negative terminal. So means the current can be passing, how it will be divided here? The how much current can be passing through the eighth resistance? That one also most important here. Okay? And now see here, first of all I am taking here, applying the Kirchhoff of first law, applying the Kirchhoff of first law at junction B. At junction B. At junction B, now you have to observe here, applying the, I am ready, applying the Kirchhoff, Kirchhoff, first law, H junction, H junction B. Okay, applying the Kirchhoff first law at junction B, only current, applying the term, I mean junction law means nothing but only current we are taking sir here. The current I1 it can be meeting at point B, okay, which is because I am writing here I1 is equal to I, IG minus I3 means nothing but IG plus I3. So, this is the equation number 1. Okay, then again at junction at junction D. Similarly, at junction D, how much current can be passing here? I2 current and IG current both are it will be meeting at junction D. So, nothing but we can write here I2 plus Ig, which is equal to I4 current. I4 current can be passing away from the junction. See, I2 current, Ig current, both are will be meeting at junction D, and I4 current can be passing away from the junction. Means, what is the kitchen of first law? The sum of the current towards the junction is equal to the sum of the current away from the junction. That's the only we are taking here. This is the equation number 2. And again, we have to apply the kitchen of second law. Apply Kirchhoff, Kirchhoff second law. Okay, Kirchhoff second law for the closed path. For the closed path, we are taking here A B D A. Compulsory is required here closed path. A B D A. We are taking here A B D A. 
So for the closure part, we are taking along the direction of along the direction of arrow mark, we are taking here negative. Opposite to the direct, opposite to the direction, we are taking here positive. So first of all, see A B D A. So A B means nothing but minus I one R one because of which are second law means potential difference. Potential difference is V is equal to I R. So I one R one minus I G G. Ma uh, plus I two R two plus I two R two is equal to zero. Total potential difference to any closed surface is equal to zero. From this formula, we can get here I two R two is equal to I one R one plus I G G. This is equation number three. Similarly, similarly, similarly for the closed path. For the closed path, we can take here B C D B, B C D B, B C D B. Okay. Here also same. Whenever we are taking here along the direction of arrow mark, we have to take here negative direction, negative, and opposite to the direction, of, we are taking here positive. B C means nothing but minus I three R three, minus I three R three, and next one plus I four R four. Plus I four R four and I G G. This one also we are going opposite to the I G G. So we can take plus I G capital G, which is equal to zero. Then again we can take here I four R four plus I G G, which is equal to I three R three. I three R three. This is the equation number four. And now see here. And now see here. For the western bridge, suppose the galvanometer can be shows here exactly null deflection. When when the western bridge can be balanced, then the galvanometer can be shows at a particular value. The galvanometer can be shows here null deflection. Then we can take here galvanometer current that is I G is equal to zero. These values substitute in substitute in equation one two. Three and four. In these four equations, if we can substitute that I G value from the equation one, I am writing here. From the equation one, that implies equation one is I one is equal to I G. I G value is zero. Zero plus I three. So you will get here I one is equal to I three. This is the equation number five. Then again, from the equation two, we can write here. Equation two is I two. Plus I G value is zero, which is equal to I four. I four. Now we can write here I two is equal to I four for the equation number six. And as it is, we have to take here. Now see here from the equation three. Equation three that implies equation three is I two R two, I two R two, which is equal to I one R one plus zero. I one R one. Plus zero, so you will get here I two R two plus I one R one, which is equal to sorry, I two R two is equal to I one R one. So directly you can get here I one R one is equal to I two R two. Okay, this is the equation number seven. Equation number seven. Now similarly you can get here for the fourth equation that is. Fourth equation is I four plus I four R four, I four R four plus I G G, which is equals to I three R three. I G G value is how much here? Zero. So I three R three. So we will write here again I four R four is equals to I three R three. This is equation number eight. Now see here equation seven by equation eight. If you can do here. Equation seven by equation eight that implies equation seven is I one R one by I one R one by I three R three, which is equal to I two R two by I four R four. No, so suppose if you want your different, so you can write. Why not? Okay. I four R four I one value is a homeless from the equation five I one value is I three 
Then you can write here I three R one by I three R three is equal to I two. I two value is I four. So I four R two by I four R four. So here I three I three cancel. I four I four cancel. Now you will get here R one by R three is equal to R two by R four. Suppose rearrange the equation, then you will get here R one by R two is equal to R three by R four. So this is the required formula. From this formula, we can find here unknown resistance of the Western rates. We can find suppose the R one value R two and R three. Suppose it given here three resistances. Suppose if you don't know R four, then you can substitute that values. You will get in that formula. This is the most important LAQ. Once again, you can check this one. Voice ten bridge. This is on complete derivation. Derivation part is there. There is no mistakes. Okay. And also see here. For this diagram, you will get here one mark in final exam because of here arrow marks is most. Okay. Here arrow marks is most important in the diagram. If you do not show here arrow mark in the circuit, you can't get this answer. Okay, sir. I hope you all are understand this answer. Once again, I request you to all members please like and share and subscribe my channel because of any videos it can become in front of you. Just uh, any videos I will upload that videos it can become in front of you. Okay, sir. Thank you. Bye, sir. You can check once again. Okay sir bye